Hey, good afternoon everybody. Mr. Rogue Shark here. I just want to take a minute and um, do a video and talk to you about the concept of deeds to match words. Okay? Deeds to match words. And what I mean by that is make sure that your actions are following what you're saying or what you believe in. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos over the past few months and I've seen a lot of guys since this whole Occupy Wall Street movement has taken off, talk about violence, talk about how the protesters should go down there and start shooting at the cops or go down there and start, you know, throwing bottles and knives and all that. Um, that's all well and fine, okay? It's a great, great idea. But if you can't look to the left of you or look to the right of you and see that same individual who's calling out for violence, who's out here broadcasting to the world, he's such a tough guy, he's a fraud, all right? Don't believe him. Don't let people out here in the so-called YouTube or prepper community provocateur you into acting irrationally. Um, most of you are well-seasoned, intelligent, uh, you know, bright individuals, but some of you I really get concerned about based upon your comments and based upon your videos that you post out here and you talk about it's time for this, it's time for that, but what are you doing though? When you say it's time, what actions are you taking to get out here and make it happen? Um, a guy like myself, you know, I've been around the block a few times, I'm 40 years old plus, and I've seen quite a few things in uniform and out of uniform. And I say that with a word of caution to all of you who have this thirst for blood, this thirst for violence. It's not like it is on this uh, Call of Duty. It's not like it is when you play um, Gods of War and uh, you know other video games out here that consume your life. It's not going to be that way at all. If this dollar does collapse, if America does go down the tubes and it's completely shit hits the fan, the battles you want, the battles you're looking for, will be fought in your backyard. The violence you so much crave, the, the, the bloodletting, the, the slaughter, it's all going to happen right there on your front lawns, all right? So make sure that when you're on this YouTube channel and you're out here calling for violence and about killing people and all that kind of stuff, make sure you know what you're saying. And more importantly, make sure you have the stomach for it. So I'm willing to bet 95% of you don't have the balls for it. 95% of you don't have the balls to pull the trigger up close. 95% of you don't have the guts to use a knife the way it should be used. You watch a lot of Rambo movies and you've seen a lot of shit on TV about, you know, slicing throats and all that. Most of you don't know that's Hollywood BS, okay? It's Hollywood nonsense. So be smart and think for yourselves. Don't let somebody provocateur you into action. You act when you feel you're ready to act. And if you're one of those kind of guys who's a more of a reactionary kind of character, then you be that, okay? But don't let somebody come out here and tell you that it's time for you to act, it's time for you to go out and do something and blah, blah, blah. Because it's bullshit. I guarantee you. In fact, I bet my life on it. You will not find that guy who's calling for violence, who wants you to go out here and do something. He will not be on the front lines with you. He'll be back behind his keyboard playing keyboard tough guy, you know, um, computer commando and that's about the far as he'll go with it you know and he'll laugh and say oh wow look what's going on and that's the best he can do because he doesn't have the guts to get out there and stand up the way he should stand up I fully support the Occupy Wall Street movement um, don't agree with everything you're saying out there but I do agree with the core of what's going on about the corruption needs to end about the greed I agree 100% but on the same token I'm also not going to go out here and tell somebody who may be watching as a casual observer, it's time for you to go out here and commit an act of violence. That's just not how I'm wired. Um, I understand what violence is. I understand how bloody it gets. So for those of you who haven't been around, who haven't done it yet, who haven't been uh, fortunate, and I say that with tongue in cheek, to witness that kind of uh, action up close and personal, stay away from it. Um, just my, this is my advice from an older guy, you know, take your foot, you will. And um, right now I'm on my way to the, uh, actually the grocery store, get some shopping done. Got a few things I need to pick up. I've been away from home for a couple of days, so I got to get out here and replenish a few things. Um, you can see, actually, the area where Mr. Rogue Shark lives. So, just look around and get an idea of the neighborhood and, you know, things around me. Um, I'll try to go slowly with the camera. I'm holding this with my hand, so... Forgive me for the shaky effect. I'm also driving at the same time. And please don't post in my comment section about not being safe while driving. I don't need to hear it. 
Um, but yeah, Mr. Rogue Shark, stay focused, stay sharp.